let's continue customizing warp terminal and in this lesson we're going to focus on so-called prompt. This is the area right before the input field where we can show some meta information such as username, pass to the current directory, current time, git branch and so on. And warp provides us with pretty flexible configuration when it comes to this prompt. Let's open up appearance section in a settings and choose input option. So right here we can decide which information we'd like to show in the prompt area. For example, let's just leave git branch and remove the rest of information. Let's save the changes and see how it is going to look. So as you can see right now we're only seeing git branch without anything else. Let's open up appearance section once again and add a couple more items in here. For example, let's show current directory pass and current time. We can also make it so that input field will be positioned at the same line as the prompt by checking this box. And additionally, we can choose which symbol has to be shown right before the input area. For example, let's use dollar sign. And right after saving the changes, we're seeing some more information such as current folder name, current time, as well as dollar sign at the end, right before we can start typing our comments. But I usually prefer using custom prompt called Starship. This prompt is written in Rust, and as documentation says, it is the minimal blazing fast and infinitely customizable prompt for any shell. It has so many configurations that it will be enough for a separate playlist, so we're not going to go deep into those configurations. Instead, we will use one of the presets that is listed in the presets section of the documentation, which gives us the opportunity to apply several settings at once and get the particular look of the prompt. First of all, we have to install this prompt, and as the first step, we'll need to install one of the fonts from the nerd font family, because those fonts contain some special symbols that Starship prompt uses, and to ensure that all symbols will be shown properly, we're going to install one of the nerd fonts. I'm going to download JetBrains mono version of the nerd font. And depending on the operating system, the process of font installation will differ. On macOS, we can just select all the font files and basically drag them on top of the FontBook application. This is the application to install fonts on macOS. And to ensure that this font has been successfully installed, we can basically search for this font in here. And if we'll see it in the search results, that means everything went well and the font has been installed. Now we can go back to the warp terminal and choose this font in a settings. Let's open up appearance section once again and right here from this list we can choose our JetBrains modern art font. In case it will not be visible in here we can also check this box and then find this font in here. This way there will be a lot more fonts shown in this list and JetBrains monofont has to appear. Along with that, we can also choose font weight, font size, as well as line height. Now let's get back to the installation guide. And in order to install Starship on macOS, I'm going to use Homebrew Package Manager. We could also use this command, but I'm going to copy Homebrew command to install Starship and paste it in a terminal and then depending on the shell that is used in your operating system. The next step will also be different. So for example on macOS the default shell is called ZSH. So I'm gonna have to copy this command and put it inside ZSH configuration file which is by default located in the root folder of the current user with the name .zsh. I'm going to open up this file and at the very end Let's paste that comment after saving the changes. To be extra sure, we can also restart warp terminal and then let's get back to the settings and choose the next option called shell prompt PS1 in here. And after that, our Starship prompt has to be active. As you can see, 
it has changed its look, that means Starship was activated. And now let's apply a different look to this prompt from those that are available on the presets page. For example, let's go with this one. I will open this page and right here, in order to apply this look, we'll basically have to run the following command in the terminal. Let's do so. And right away, we're going to notice how the look of the prompt will be changed after running this command. So basically what this command does is it creates starship configuration file within .config folder that is located inside the root folder of current user. And it adds a bunch of configurations into this starship.toml file, which basically makes the prompt look in a certain way. We can even open up this file in the editor and see all those settings that have been added after running that command. They're all described in details in Starship documentation. I usually prefer to keep this prompt as minimal as possible, and that is why I'm going to remove all these settings and keep only one called format. Right here I'm going to use variable called directory, which means the prompt is going to show current directory name, and right in front of it I'm going to show a little icon of the folder. And that's basically it. After restarting Warp Terminal, we'll see minimal look of the prompt with an icon as well as folder name. In the next lesson, we're going to review some other configuration options.